Hi, I'm Jordan Gaskell, and today I want to talk to people about the constant attacks on free speech. There's no disputing that free speech has become more and more limited over the last few years and is only getting worse. Now, there's a few different reasons why this is happening, and there's a few different things we can do in order to fix this. Now, first problem regarding it, why it's happening, is political correctness. Now, political correctness I am completely against. I believe that it contradicts free speech completely. It stops us from talking about serious matters. It allows groups to hide behind race or gender. It, be it gives people exemptions, effectively. It protects groups, not in terms of protecting their rights, but protects them from even being talked about. That is the problem. Of political correctness it restricts you from criticizing groups completely instead of just the parts where we shouldn't be igniting anyway we're not in fear of igniting violence we don't want free speech to be igniting violence but the freedom to criticize is kind of there in free speech it's something we need in order to progress so there should be no restrictions on free speech and the rights to criticize and the rights to freely speak about what you think is right and wrong. It is not only our democratic right, but our human rights. But political correctness takes this away from us. And that's why political correctness in the UK must go. Now, hate speech guidelines, they need reforming as well. Now, the problem is with hate speech guidelines, they remove the certain parts of the subjective criteria, basically, that need the reform. Now, first of all, for example, things that would be classed as offensive or disturbing. Those type of things in the hate speech guidelines, that on the criteria is what we need to work on. The problem is with this, again, if we can't talk about it, if people can just hide behind it and say, that's offensive, you can't say that, that disturbs me, you can't talk about that, it stops us from talking about serious problems. If there's a problem, we can't just not talk about it and hope it will go away. We need to talk about these issues. So we must reform the hate speech guidelines. We need to be able to openly criticise something in order to progress effectively. We can't progress if we're not allowed to talk about it. You can't just say we're not allowed to talk about it if you get offended. That's the top and bottom of it though. Now, the point is with this, a big part of free speech as well under the democratic side of this, is the ability to speak about what you think is right and wrong. The rights to criticise, the rights to compliment, the rights to do both. You can't limit what people can and can't say. It's undemocratic to tell people what you can and can't say. You can't go over and say, you can say that, you can't say that. This is not democratic, this is not fair, and this is not what our country stands for. We need to stop restricting people on what they can and can't say as they have the rights to their own opinions and to preach what they believe is right. As long as it is not igniting, igniting violence towards any group, then there is no reason why it should not be allowed. Now, this country needs to reform the hate speech guidelines and we need to scrap the politically correct agenda that now circles and plagues this nation. That'll be all for this video. Thank you very much for your time.